Okay, for this problem here, we know L1 is perpendicular to y equals 2x minus 1 with a y-intercept of 5. L2 has the x-intercept of negative 2 and goes through this point. And I'm going to need to find L1, find the equation of L2, and then solve the simultaneous equations. And then it says, do you actually need to find the equations to do it? We'll talk about that a little bit further. So in blue, we'll find L1. Well, here my slope is 2. So my perpendicular slope is going to be the negative reciprocal of 2, so negative reciprocal. And my y-intercept is 5. Well, I already know that if I use y equals mx plus b, I know my slope, and I know my y-intercept, so I'll just plug them in. And if I graph this, I know I'm at 5. I go down 1 over 1. I rise down over 1, rise down over 1. And I get that line there. And I'll put that line on here best I can with blue here. And I'll see if it, mm, that's pretty good there. OK, so that's L1. Using just y equals x plus b, I can find the slope, negative reciprocal, y-intercept. Changing to pink for L2. L2, I know I have the point negative 2 comma 0 as an x-intercept. That means the y value is 0. It would be the point right here. And it goes to the point 2, 1. 2, 1 here. 2 comma 1. Positive 1, not a negative 1. 1. So I need to find the slope. Well, the slope is the change in y, which is We'll say y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. And that gives me 1 over a quarter. And now I'm going to use this equation, y minus y1 equals x, x minus x1. And we'll use this point here to find us our equation of the line. And so it's y minus 0 equals 1 quarter x plus 2 minus a negative 2. So y is equal to 1 quarter x plus 2 over 4 is a half. Here is L2. I could put on my slope here, or my uh, intercept, 1 half, and I go up 1, rise 1 over 4, up 1 over 4, and I get the line here. So now, if I go and I draw that line, I'll do it in black, we are looking, I'll try and get it parallel so I can move it up, we are looking for the point of intersection. And it looks like that point of intersection is going to be right there, 6, 2. And so solving the simultaneous equation is 6, 2 graphically. Now, do you actually need to find the equation of L1 and L2? Well, for L2, if I plot these two points here and here, I can just connect them. So I don't actually need the equation. For L1, I can get the slope, which is negative 1 half. Why intercept? I could just go straight from that information. So the answer, do I actually need to find the equation? The answer is no. You have enough information already. So combining all the ideas we've been learning about lines, we can find still solve simultaneous equations.